What's up, guys? Oh, shit. What's going on, guys? It's the BYT here, back with our video on my wrestling channel. Today in this video, I'm going to be making a Backlash 2005 review. Let's get started here. The main event was JBL vs. The Big Show in a steel cage. Uh, a barbed wire steel cage match for the WWE title. I was actually looking forward to this main event. I don't know why, because I knew it was gonna end up being shitty. So, and it was, it was a really bad main event. But let's just get into this. This is probably my least favorite No Way Out show of all time. It was very bad, um, a lot of bad matches. No, oh, there was one, Everything was pretty bad except two matches. There's only like six matches on here. So we got Rey Mysterio and Eddie Guerrero defeating the Basham Brothers for the WWE Tag Titles in the opening match. This match was alright. Um, Rey Mysterio and Eddie Guerrero were trying to carry these guys, the Basham Brothers. Um, and it just... Uh, it led to a pretty good match to open up the show, I guess. Three stars. Uh, Rey Mysterio and Eddie Guerrero got the win. Uh, Booker T defeated Heidenreich by DQ. This was a very, just a bland match. Just very boring. Um, nothing to it. Just just doing moves. When pretty much there was no story. Uh, one and a half stars. Um, then we got a six-man elimination cruiserweight title match with Chavo Guerrero defeating Paul London, Shannon Moore, Spike Dudley, Akio, and Funaki. Funaki got out first, followed by Spike Dudley, followed by Shannon Moore, followed by Akio, and then second was Paul London, and Chavo Guerrero got the win. Two and a quarter, just a very underwhelming cruiserweight match. And then the next match, we had a waste of The Undertaker. Undertaker defeated Luther Reigns. Who the fuck is Luther Reigns? Isn't that Matt Moore or something? Matt Moore, whatever his name is, I don't know. Something Moore. Um, the match wasn't good. It was very boring, very bland, nothing to it. And it snowed, holy shit. This is like the most snow I've ever seen in my life. Maybe not the most, but... Definitely in the top five. Definitely in New York. We just got absolutely shit on with snow. And I'll show you it after I'm done with the review. They have a huge window right next to me over here. And in the next match, John Cena defeated Kurt Angle in a number one contender sh championship. Number one contender. It says number one contender. Yeah. Number one contendership for the WWE title. And whoever wins this faces JBL at WrestleMania. Of course, John Cena got the win. We all know John Cena faced JBL in a very shitty match at WrestleMania 21. The match was very good, though. Um, these guys always have good matches together. This was actually my main event for my WrestleMania. Look up my WrestleMania 33 card. It's my latest video. I did it about four days ago. Um, I had this as the main event with Kurt Angle winning. So three and three quarters, John Cena got the win. Kurt Angle carried him to a good match. JBL defeated the Big Show in a barbed wire steel cage match where they didn't use the barbed wire. So I just, uh, apparently you're not supposed to use the barbed wire. Apparently it's just to keep you from escaping. So it's like, whatever, it's just retarded. Uh, JBL, she was the chicken shit champion. But 